Scary games has and will always be a very interesting genre to the video game industry, and even more interestingly how hit or miss it can be. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Candles. I actually have no idea what this is. There can be these games where horror just leaks around every corner. Games that make you just say... <laughs> Is something gonna pop out of that? I'm just gonna skip forward because I'm a little bit scared. Not gonna lie, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip forward. Yeah, okay. People who know what they're doing will hopefully provide a very spooky and nightmaric experience for all people to enjoy. But then there's Piggy. Why? Wait, what did that say? Wait a minute. Go back. What did that say? That said, give me your toes, for I am the toe collector. Funny fart presents. Okay. Give me your toes, for I am the toe collector. Piggy. Piggy is a Roblox horror game that was made on September 12th, 2020. The game. No. No, no, no. January 28th, 2020. On September 12th, 2020, the game has over 7 billion visits and has a thriving community. As the title implies, it features the epic characters from Peppa Pig, but in an apocalyptic, zombified, spooky infected setting. Now hang on a minute. A multiplayer horror game that not only has more visits than the population of all humans on Earth, but it also has wonderful reviews and has an active community. So overall, it must be a good game, right? Well, here's the problem. It sucks. Roblox titles are not really the first thought that comes to mind when someone says horror games. And I mean, do I need to explain why? So for a Roblox horror game about Peppa Pig to get 7 billion visits, well that's kind of shocking, is it not? In order to figure out why this game is where it is today, I shall have to do an in-depth analysis on its community, its gameplay, and its story. Uh oh, am I gonna be in this video? Uh oh, dude. Uh oh, am I gonna be in this video? Oh no. So without further ado- Why is- why- why is he a blob? fish that's what i want to know why why is he a blobfish top right into this and figure out why this game got so popular okay chapter one the gameplay okay piggy is a survival horror multiplayer the game gameplay is very basic i yeah yeah can go up to six players. Each of the six players must survive and complete the objective, which is usually to escape the area. In order to do this, each player must contribute to the team in order to escape the monster. This can include getting items like keys that can open important locked rooms, items that can stun the monster, and other things that also make the gameplay more interesting. Gameplay-wise, this was inspired by Granny, which plays in the exact same formula, except it's now in multiplayer. And story-wise, it's inspired by the Sony Tubbies 3 campaign. And in case you didn't know, this was um no it's is it i don't think so i'm pretty sure he said it was inspired from the walking dead and peppa pig i'm pretty sure on the roblox engine the game modes include bot which makes the player a bot versus which makes a player control the monster there's player plus bot for people that need a little extra assistance in their killing spree and then there's infection which i'll admit is a little intense when you're the last one alive and you're getting chased by like five nerds so i guess the infection game mode is the only redeeming quality that piggy has to offer and in book one why why is it called book and, and not just chapter there are over 12 maps all of because there's chapters and what if you put a bunch of chapters together what do you get you get a book you, 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 you get a book so you have you have chapters and you put them together you get a book <claps> boom book if they're up and downs some of them even having twists in them like station which may seem like a station at first but then as a basement filling with acid and then a full-on prison what typically on these maps the it's a police station please Police stations have jail cells, right? Yeah. 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 Escapeway is via a secured door and only one door. That's the main issue with this game is that after you unlock the door, the monster will just stay there and camp. That is a problem. That is a problem that I wish Piggy fixed. They kind of fixed it because you have the gun. You can you can stun the Piggy, but you can't do that on every map in camp see in order to kill the victims you have to be within a radius of them which is usually half a feet away and this door is tiny so the monster can just stand here and not do anything at all 
That is not good game design. There should always be two exits at any given map. Of course, you could just stun them via a gun, which stuns the monster for 20 seconds, but that has limited bullets. Thankfully, the gun itself can scare a lot of monsters away. Take a look at this clip. This guy is obviously camping the escapeway like a little nerd, and I have a gun. <laughs> I love how this guy calls him a nerd. <laughs> look at all these nerds. <laughs> like, okay. But with no bullets. Thankfully, it seems the gun merely existing scared the monster away, which allows me to escape. Mind games are awesome, but if you don't have a gun, what are you gonna do here? Monsters don't always have to kill you by being within a radius. There are also other ways that can kill you, like these bear traps. Planting one down will cause the player to be stuck for a certain period of time, allowing the monster to get up close and knock you out. There are different types of bear yeah. traps, all with their up and downs, so it's really down to personal preference. Speaking of different types, there are different types of skins in this game that you can use as the monster, which you need to obtain by killing a lot of people. And that's it for the gameplay side of things. There were a couple things I've missed in this, like the sprinting option and other mechanics in the- I think Piggy's gameplay is very basic and it's the weakest part of the game. Like, the best part of Piggy is the story. So I mean I'm not I'm not gonna get too upset if he thinks the gameplay kind of sucks. It's it's very basic. This game, but eh, whatever. Hey, but he's about to talk about the story, so let's see what we got. Let's move on to the story. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Of course, if a Roblox game is gonna have a horror game about characters from a show, which includes a series of maps, it's gonna have a story. And Piggy's story is, eh, it's okay. Piggy's story has no. When did this video come out? September 12th, 2021. Ah! Never really been the selling point of the game. It's all right, but- The story- What did he just say? Eh, it's okay. Piggy's story has never really been the selling point of the game. It is literally the main selling point of the game. What are you- What? 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 It's all right, but I would be lying if I said it did not have cut corners. Like, for example, how do the characters speak English very well and are like seven feet tall despite being toddlers? How is this- They're not toddlers. Doggy is, uh, 20, 20... Doggy is like 21 or 22 years old. You would know that if you paid attention to the story! You would know that! You would know that! being toddlers how is this peppa pig's house when in the show it looks like this yeah so they don't get sued exactly yeah. you know stuff like that but despite that the story is eh, it's pretty all right reading off of this post the story is that you are a police officer investigating the disappearance of george pig when you arrive on the scene you get knocked out by a mysterious pig and wake up in the bedroom you have never seen before you must escape the room before you get tracked down and get killed by the strange pig this is pretty much an overview of the house at part one. After you escape the house, you explore a lot of other places like the forest that reveals that Danny has become the spooky monster. Danny? Did he just say Danny? Did he say Danny? House, you explore a lot of other places like the forest that reveals that Danny has become the <laughs> His name is not Danny! It's Doggy! It literally says it on the thing! Look! Oh, it doesn't. Never mind, it doesn't. But never mind. Never mind, never mind. I, th I thought it did. That's book two. It, it does that in book two. Book two wasn't out yet when this video came out, I don't think. Or maybe it was. I don't know. But it's it's not Danny. There are a lot of other places, like the forest, that reveals that Danny has become a spooky monster. And is Danny's from Peppa Pig? Oh, is it? Oh, he thinks... He thinks that it's literally one to one. Oh. Oh, okay. And these military guys that have also become spooky monsters. Like I said, the story is inspired by Silent Tubby's 3 campaign. And if you think about it, it's pretty much the exact same. It starts with characters that are living normal, happy lives to only become infected with some substance. So the main protagonist has to go and investigate the source of the infection. During our journey, we meet other characters along the way. Some of them unfortunately dying mid-game right in front of you. You get to these facilities that should have people alive and will help you only to be dead and some of them even being zombies. And in the end, there's a quote-unquote what is that? What What is that from? And why does it look familiar? What in the world is that? What 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 is that? What What is that? Th 
That's from Teletubbies? I thought that was from Teletubbies. I thought it was. I thought it was. Final boss that you have to defeat? That's pretty much the story of Piggy and Slytubbies 3. However, Piggy has continued with a book too, which isn't complete yet. I know I skimmed over a lot of stuff in the story. Oh, wait a minute. 2021. Oh, yeah, it was complete. Oh, yeah, never mind. I, I, I still think it's 2022. Never mind. But like I said, it's a lot like the Slim Tubbies 3 campaign, so you can think of it as just that, but with Peppa Pig characters. I think the developers of Piggy have a slight disconnect with the actual show. In the show, they are taught- It's not supposed to be the show. ...toddlers that constantly whine and are British. Wow! Molly's digging a long tunnel! But in the game, they are taller than the frickin' player, and they talk in a very mature tone. Perhaps this game is- THAT'S BECAUSE THEY'RE 20 YEARS OLD! Again, you would know this if you paid attention to the story! Taking place in the future, Pony in the show is annoying and generally a huge nerd, but now he- <laughs> I love how he calls everything a nerd. He has a beanie and looks like a guy that sells drugs down in the street. Many of- Okay. The characters actually have weapons in the game, like Zizzy with a sword and Rebecca with a- That's not a katana. That's not- That is not a katana. Again, if you paid attention to the story, you would know what that is. That's not a katana. And even if you don't pay attention to the story, that's not a katana. That's not what a katana looks like. A katana is like- and like samurai and stuff use it. That's not a- That's not a katana. That's a fencing sword. With a sword and Rebecca with a carrot cross. Re what? You think they help you take down the monster, but for some reason you have to find food in these places only to feed them and then stun the monster? Can't they just, you know, help me? Why do I have to feed you for you to be useful? Screw you, Zizzy. But yeah, that's pretty. Bro, <laughs> this kid is like 13 years old and it makes it so much funnier. Too much about it for the story of book one of Figgy. So now let's continue on to my final point. Oh no, he's about to talk about the community. Oh no, here we go. Oh no, here we go. Talk about the community. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm gonna say this right now, every community in every game is not perfect. Each community will always have these groups of people that will just be toxic and draw really weird stuff. And of course, there is always gonna be very good people a part of every community, Piggy included. But something about Piggy's community is just, Christ, it's awful. They picture these toddlers in situations- THEY'RE NOT TODDLERS! ...where they hang themselves and they kiss and it's just really gross. If anything, it's also parallel to Slim Tubby's 3 community. I know I'm comparing this game a lot with Slim Tubby's 3, but these two games have a lot in common, even on the community side of things. And the worst part about these is that they call these memes. Memes are supposed to be something funny, something enjoyable, and will give you a quick laugh. But these memes are extremely edgy, statistic, and have stories that only a six-year-old would make. It's genuinely awful stuff. I mean, these guys are toddlers. And yes, I know- THEY'RE NOT TODDLERS! I know that there are good people in the community that are actually sane people and are very supportive to its creators. It's just a matter of how much a community is associated with the bad and toxic people. Games like FNAF and Minecraft have gained a huge association with people like this, and Piggy is no exception. Nine times out of ten, Piggy's community is always associated with stuff like this. This is horrible. <laughs> I know the guy who made that, dude. We're friends with this guy. I don't know why people do this. In conclusion, Piggy is a horror Roblox horror game that exists. It has more visits than the population of humanity itself, and over the months, it has gained a really, really bad reputation for its community. And it is generally just kind of an unscary and dumb poopy poo fart video game. Don't play- uh, poopy poo fart video game. Piggy. Rip. It sucks. Rip. Rip. Oh, it's got more likes than dislikes? Wait, what? Wait, what do people say about this? Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What are people saying about this? I gotta read the comments. I find Piggy more of a puzzle game than a horror game. Piggy isn't scary. It's not scary. It, I, it's not, no. Um, what, 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 what? I'm half convinced that Piggy started as a joke, then it randomly blew up and people took it seriously. That's exactly what happened, yep. Yep, 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 yep. 
Fun fact, they are adults, not toddlers. Th there we go. All right, all right. They already, already got it. Already got it. Piggy is not a scary game. I don't think it's supposed to be a super scary game. I don't, I don't think it, it was supposed to. If you want to play a decent Roblox horror game, I would suggest camping. Well, I, I think the video was good. It was a very well-made video. Even though I disagree with it, it was a very well-made video, and I'll give it a thumbs up. It, ooh, I like that animation. Ooh, I, I, I'll give it a thumbs up even though I disagree. But that was a very well-made video. I'm not going to lie. That was a very well-made video, so. Titles and I'll, I'll give it a thumbs up. I'll give it a thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. <clears throat> no, nah, don't do that. Look, I'm going to give you guys a very important life lesson, okay? This is a very important life lesson right here. Okay? There's going to be people that don't agree with you. This guy obviously does not agree with us. But that doesn't mean the video sucks. It was a very well-made video. I disagree with the points in the video. But it was a very well-made video. Therefore, it gets a thumbs up. Whoo! Okay. All right, all right. That solves that problem right there. There we go. All right, we can do. Uh, yeah, we can do. Uh, we'll do. How long is Bloxfruit?